Right, I'm just sharing with you what's coming. Uh, the sewing needles have come in now and uh, they'll be in the shop. These are the blunt ones, you know, for doing the embroidery. These have come in, which are the um, sewing needles, the embroidery needles, and you get so many in a pack and the, the eyes are different sizes as well. These are the John's James Peeble collection so they're nice sewing needles let me just put these back in I got that one out couldn't get it back in <laughs> that's it there you go they're back in and they clip it nice little uh, holder for your needles you can carry it around in your purse as well so that's coming, plus, they'll all be on the shop shortly, the pastel colours have come in for the uh, threads that I use. See, these are mine. And I bought them in because people, I kept getting asked for them. Some of you have bought them, but the ones that asked me for them haven't bought them. So why? Have you found them somewhere else? Never mind. We've got them in now. I know it takes a long time, but I am only a small shop even though I look big if you know what I mean so it does take me time to find them because when I find anything it's um I go through the internet like uh, god knows what and I literally search for the same product but at the best value and it has to be top quality otherwise I just don't bother and we're known for selling top quality goods we don't sell crap so anyway, like I said, the pastel colours are in. I will be photographing them shortly. They will be going on the shop. The needle packs are in. And these are sold um, like in packs. These are sold uh, individual. Uh, these are the sewing needles for uh, embroidery thread. Okay. Hi everyone, right I've got some, let me take this one out of the way so you can see uh, Some petals and that that I've been making and some flowers And these are what I call my rosette flowers Because they just remind me of a rosette It's probably not the name of them, but it's what I call them So then we've got that one I think there's a couple more You can use them either way, it doesn't matter and then that one, which was done slightly differently, but uh, I prefer these. Yeah. They do seem to have a, a right and a wrong way to them, though. <laughs> but then I've done some individual petals as well. Um, let's have a look. Like these, and I've done some longer than others. So you've got short ones longer ones and what i'm going to do is just to put a flower together and you remember we had that yesterday well um don't tell my glue gun i switched on and it didn't 
work for some reason so i've just switched it on again don't know whether it's got a loose wire or something but it won't take a minute um what i'll do is cut the next lot ready so i'm using the uh, one inch gross grain i this is the best ribbon for these particular flowers to do these now you can have them however long you want so what i'm going to do uh, let's just have a look so I've just cut this at the length I want. It's nine, nine centimetres, so nine or ten centimetres. But you can do them at six, it doesn't matter. It's whatever you want. So you need five of those. Now I've shown you this before, <clears throat> but it is a nice flower. And make sure that because it's gross grain, the it will... Um, you need to seal those off at the ends, otherwise it will uh, fray. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So just take my light. Hopefully my lighters will work because yeah, that's it. So mine are so temperamental, and I don't know why. <clears throat> I know they get a lot of use <laughs> but they do <coughs> now excuse me now if you want uh, I don't generally because I just get on and do what I've got to do oh and by the way I just wanted to share something with you I found some crochet hooks the other day because I was going to do, you know, that bell. I was going to show you how to make the bell. And you do need small hooks. And I found this one, which was a size one, and that was my grandmother's. I mean, they were only Diddy. But then I found her mother's, so my great-grandmother's. And that, I can't even see what size that was, but look how fine that is. And she also had this one. These belonged to my grandmother, but two of them were her mother's and one of them was hers. And it still has the original hook case on it. And look how thin that is. I'm not sure if you see that. Let me see. So it's still got its original cap. So they must have come with a, a cap at some point. I mean, it's getting a bit battered is mine, but uh, I'm just so happy that I've got it. And it is made me can i see i'll have to get my spyglass out and read it but yeah to have something that belonged to my great grandmother passed down to her daughter my grandmother and then passed straight to me because obviously my dad was an only child and he didn't do anything like that but yeah she gave me them many years ago when she lived with me and uh yeah, you need to keep hold of things like that. So I'm just going to see if I've got a bag big enough to fit. Probably not. But I'll find a bag big enough to put them in. You see, like that. Got a little bit of sellotape here. <clears throat> And hopefully my son or daughter, whoever gets them, won't throw them away. <laughs> I'll have to put a label on them. Let them know. Right, get back to this. So this is an easy flower. <laughs> if you haven't got nails. <laughs> but we're going to do it anyway. So you just pin that on the corner like that. Cross it over. Now keep all your crossing over the same. Okay. Keep it flat. Make sure that this edge starts with that corner. And that edge meets at that corner. So cross over again. On there. Now you can do these as many as you want. 
five if you're just making the petal flower like that but if you're wanting to wrap it around so you're going round and round and round and round to make a rose then you need to do as many as you want till you're satisfied I don't generally even do this I don't pin anything me because I'm so used to doing what I'm doing so again on the last one you pin the two together and you're five you can do it with six if you want to but five makes a proper laid back and, and you know flattish flower so you have that <coughs> excuse me and then what you do and I'm using the long needles we do have some more of the long needles back in I made sure we had enough let me just get this right so what we do you can start on the corner if you wish and you just a running stitch tack your stitches in first because you want it to hold and not poke through and I'm using silk thread so then you go across the top of those two that you've pinned together you can take your pin out now we'll move that to one side then go right across the top And you can take that out turn that round and you've just gone all the way around on the outside edge And then carry on. Don't do your stitches too big because you want them to have a nice crease, you know, the fold, the ruffle, what I call the ruffle. I always try and uh, make sure that I come up before I start the next lot and I've just got to go across there like that so you've got that and then what you do is carefully turn it upside down and carefully pull it in because you need that to go all the way to that end so you just move it round like that and carefully pull that in and you, it's like a little cup type flower see like that but once you've pulled it you need to then stitch it with a couple of tacking stitches 
and I usually generally open mine up then make sure I catch both petals um. <clears throat> Like that. Hopefully it'll stay together. And then flatten it out by working those ruffles that you've just made. Like that. And you've got a nice, pretty little flower. So what I'm going to do now is just put a knot back in my uh, thread and pop that back. And now the glue gun's nice and hot. So what I'm going to do is to just go around the edge like that and pop that in the centre of there. <coughs> oh dear me. Now, the reason why I've done it in the centre, uh, glued the centre, is because now I can use the edging to fill out where I want something, uh, another to be. I just take some of these that I've already done and we can pop them in there and start to fill out the flower and I'm going to overlap them as well see so just go on there and then overlap the flower just got another one they don't have to be perfect at all you can have one bigger than the other doesn't matter again just pull that back pull that back because we do want it to overlap like that uh, take another one let's take a little bit bigger one I think yeah we can do that one And pull that forward up oh, backwards should I say and then we just need one to go in here like I said that didn't quite catch that I do want that to go over there so I'm going to take another one of these like that pop that on and glue that pop that in there and push that back and you see even though we've got a big petal there it really doesn't matter I mean you can pull it in if you wish a little bit big that let's just pull that in a bit like that doesn't matter about the back we can put another piece on so there you've got like your rosette and then we can always uh, put a nice flower. Now let's see what we've got here. Oh, that's just not. I need a bit of colour. Let's just put it that way. We need a little bit of colour. So you can do that. Quite like that. Or we can go and do something like. See, I like that. <laughs> They just make a difference, don't they? A little bit of greenery and a bit of pink. And it's come off something else that I've dismantled. So it'll, they always get used up. Always. We waste nothing. Isn't that pretty? So we can make another one. I'm going to use up what I've got here. Some of these bits. Sorry, I'm just going to have a drink. so thirsty so let's find another one that we can put in the middle of that and we could do something like that no 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 do you know what i'm just going to use these i think uh, although we could use one like that couldn't well they see that's pretty different pretty i like those We've got something else. No, what about something like that? Is that too? No, even that's pretty. 
So let's just make a couple up of different ones with the different sensors. So I'm just going to get this. I did uh, use this up the other day. Come in handy. Less to go in the landfill, so they say. Now we can throw that. So I'm just going to do it by the inner circle when it's been stitched. Pop that into the middle. Middle-ish, should I say. Like that. And then we can bring this back our first one in like that pop that back now we need to pin that down but then overlap it and let's have a look I'll do this one I think Like that. I'm just making that a little bit smaller, but that's fine. I'm happy with that. So let's just pull that back a little bit. Right. I'm just going to push that bit in and then get that one and pin that in there. Like that. Lay them down how you want, it's no problem whatsoever. I don't actually mind, I can pull that back. And that one, and we can redo that. The thing is, you can just reposition them where you want them. And I just want that one. Pulled back a bit and shoved in there. Oh, I ain't fussed about the back. No one's going to see it. That's fine by me. So again, I'm just going to use a rolled rose for the centre. Like that. Don't they look pretty? <laughs> And they're easy to make. Um, we'll do another one. Another bit of felt. I literally use anything up that I have. Oops, a daisy. You silly woman, Fee. That goes in the centre. And I'm just going to do some smaller ones, so I'm going to miss them too. And let's just see what we've got that we can put. Ah! Now, we could just do this. doesn't want to work fee well it wouldn't would it there we go now do we want to just do that yeah we can like that so we've just got some smaller ones as well there's another one we can do Excuse me. Oops, a daisy. Sticking to the nails. Right. I'm 
Hang on, I've got a couple more leaves here I can use. So, let's have a look at this one. There we go. Pop that on there. And we're going to do this one. So look at this. Like that. Just going to use up these petals that I've got because I don't like wasting anything, as you well know. And move that in there, and that's that. There, ah, that's fine. I'm happy with that doesn't matter uh, now we can put this one on because it's a bigger one a bigger flower so it'll hold it better no point in putting something big on a small flower you're just defeating the object of what you want to do so that's that one now let me just move these out of the way I've got a couple more I suppose I could make these one on top of the other couldn't I Right, let's find something else. Here's a nice, another bit. See, I keep everything. But look how helpful it's been to me. And not gone in the landfill, like, too much. Now, what I'm going to do is do that on the outer edge of this. And this is the biggest part of the flower out of the two, I think. No, I think that one is. I'm just going to do that actually I can make two more flowers so I'm happy with that oh and I've got this no see that's too big so no point in going too far let's have a look oh yeah that'll suit that one so I'll need one for this one now something there let's have a look at this let's have a look Uh, let's have a look. What's, oh, we've got one of these. These might do. Might do. We'll see. See if that will go in there. Right, so what I need now is to poke a hole in this. Which I'm going to use. No. Hang on. I've got me. They say it's a tool, this, that I use to smooth things out. You know, if you're working with metal work and that. But it's also a great one for putting a hole somewhere. So, I'm just going to put inside the gather. And then poke that through. Yep, that's fine. And then what I do is, um, I can use the big scissors and not the pliers. Just to cut this, it's easier. There we go. <laughs> so we've got that and I can put another back on that later on. So I just want another piece of the felt. Here. do doesn't have to be perfect right okay so again we're going to glue around the edge uh, refill refill okay okay I'm going to pop this on just there like that move around that's it and then we're just gonna fill in that bit and pop in 
that one which is just as nice as any other and there you go we've got one two three four five six they do all look different thanks for watching take care and i'll speak to you all soon bye bye for now